is just for a game. Look, Jack and I don't hunt for meat. Just call it a recreation for the boys. Whatever you call it. How can you be spending most of your night in the bush? This is crazy. Can't you see? Get me my wristwatch, please. Say hello to her. I think she's sleeping. Uh, yes. Let's go. I didn't tell you I was going to sleep. Jack. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. I said none kids. Fantastic. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Jack. This is your new hunting attitude. If your wife likes it, I am not comfortable with it. Can't you guys look for something else to relax with? I mean, anything. It's okay. Anything yeah, it's okay. You know, they don't know what the boy's like. There so is too much. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Give me. I'll take my mind. Jack, what's wrong? Nothing. Bush and wait for their return. That's okay. Um, have you forgotten that my gun is not firing? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, let me let me try it.
Yes, please. Is he going to make it? Uh, he will make it, but uh, he needs plenty of rest for now. So it's true. Kano, that is true. Madam, 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 madam. Let's not say it's true. Calm down, calm down. He needs plenty of rest. Because if you have rats, you might have to ask him to go to reception. So please be calm. Okay. Trouble with you. I won't, as far as you are alive. I'm okay. You're a different. Just be fine for me. Kano. Kano, talk to me and stop teasing. Kano. Kano. Kano, somebody help me!
happened within 24 hours. We were all battling to save Dr. Khan. Please, you have to save my husband. He's innocent. It was an accident. Please do something. Oh. Okay. I'm assuring you now, I'm going to do everything possible. I'll try my best to get him off the hook. Okay? Meanwhile, just give me some seconds. Let me get my briefcase. We have to get to the station. Problem, Sergeant. Barrister Tony is here to see you, sir. <sighs> okay, let him in. Good day, sir. Oh, good day, Barrister. How's the family? Well, everyone is fine, and you? Sit down. Thank you very much. So, is there anything we could do for you? 
Um, yes, I'm here in respect of Mr. Jack, the man that was arrested for Dr. Kanu's death. He's actually my client and I want to take him on bail. <sighs> that man is going to court on Wednesday. The prosecuting lawyer just left my office. Oh my God. Please, I need your help. I need you to help me out, please. I'm not really being disposed to give you the needed help. As you can see, Dr. Carlos' wife is working around the clock to make sure your client does not go free. I'm afraid, Barrister, you have a case this time around. <laughs> you see, both men were very good friends. And I still wonder why Mrs. Khan will want to go to that extent. <sighs> anyway, I, I still insist that you release my client on bail. You know that's not possible. This is a murder case. I advise you, Barrister, to go and prepare for court on Wednesday. Good day, Barrister. to ensure an absolute freedom for your husband, all right? But by the grace of God, it's going to be attainable. Um, we don't have time now. I'm going to meet you at the court tomorrow. Thank you. Come back, come back. Make sure that she never, ever step her foot into this compound again. Do you hear me? Go. Madame Novi, I'm not bothered to check for her. But I can even see Mrs. Kano from here. Eh? Please, let me go and see her. It is very, very important, I beg. Please leave before I push you out. Don't you know me again? I don't care. She doesn't want to see you. Please leave. Hey! Do I go from here? Before Madame Kondi sat in here, I bet. Go. She wants her husband to leave. After killing her. That's impossible. It's not going to happen. I am going to fight back.
God, you look so pale. What? I wouldn't have talked to you if not for God. Imagine all of you that called yourself my friends. You abandoned me to my problems. Rita, you know it's not true. Stop talking like that. How can I of all people abandon you? Look, I've been in Faroe Paris for like two months and I only just got back to hear what happened. I'm so sorry. I'm confused. Maybe my husband has less than a moon's leave. No, no, no. God forbid. Don't talk like that. Look, you know I'm always here for you, right? I'm always here for you. So just tell me where and how to help and I'll do it. Can you imagine? I'm just coming from our friend's house, Mrs. Kanu. And what did she say? I was humiliated. The gates man could not even let me in. Our own friend. Come on, you know you can't predict people. Um, you know what? I will go and see Mrs. Kano myself, right? Yeah. But before then, you and I have to really sit down and talk about this whole thing, okay? I need the complete details of the whole event, right? Okay. Just calm down. Thank you. Be okay. Thank you very much. Then let's go to my house immediately. All right, all right. I'm right behind you, okay? Travel to Paris on business, and I just came in and I heard what happened. Take her back there. Hmm? Try, you know, but it's so hard. So hard. Yeah, I understand how you feel, but I think you should carry on and be that great woman that you are. Hmm? I implore you to put everything behind you the death of your husband, and even the cause of your death, they're all irreversible. And any harm done right now will only be an addition to the agony you're already going through. But you know, my sister, I am trying. But the pain is too much for me alone to bear. But you know, the pain is too much. But one thing I assure myself is that anybody that has a hand in the death of my husband will not go unpunished. It's a promise. But, you know, as humans, we should be godly in all our dealings, huh? Stella, I strongly think you should let Mr. Jack go. What? If not for the sake of your life, only for the sake of your life. I 
Alga and see how soon tomorrow morning. Pastor, please help me. Please don't let them kill my husband. What will happen to your husband? Please do something. Nothing will happen to your husband. Nothing will happen to your husband. Nothing will happen to your husband. The Lord is in control of this situation. For this very moment. Thank you for the families of the Jacks and the Cannons. Jehovah, mm -hmm. Father, have let your peace reign control. Amen. Jehovah, oh. have take control of all situations. Amen. Father, heaven, thank you. You know what is happening in these two families. Oh. But Jehovah, Father, have I know that you're God of peace. Thank you, Father, in heaven. Thank you. For in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, you called this miserable existence without my husband's life. This is not life. There is no life. No, 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 sister. You see, your husband, for all I know now, might be in heaven now saying, Give hallelujah to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we are here on earth troubling ourselves. Can't you see? You might be right, Pastor. But my husband died a painful death he never deserved. I knew something terrible was going to happen on that fateful day. And I tried all I could to stop him from going hunting. Pastor, here I am today, we do. Look at me. It's okay, it's okay. The Lord is doing a new thing in your life. I'm sure he would do it, allow him to take control of the situation. You see, sister, I want you to do me a favor. What favor? Really? Yes. I want you to go and withdraw that case from court. What? Yes. Yes. What happened could have been an accident. Mr. Jack couldn't have come here, prized your husband to the bush and killed him cold bodily. It wasn't deliberate. It was an accident, huh? That is what Jack is using as an alibi. And nothing, I mean nobody, is going to stop me from inflicting pain on Mr. Jack. He killed my husband and he's going to pay for it. Oh, no, 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 madam. You see, that's where you're wrong. Vengeance is of the Lord. Allow God into this very situation. I'm sure he would do something if Jack deliberately killed your husband. Mm -hmm. Vengeance is of the Lord, though. I know. I'm sorry, Pastor. I just have to disobey you. I can't do what you're asking me to do. I can't. And uh, I think... Please, Barrister. My husband has to leave. Please. What do you want me to do? No, answer me. What do you want me to do? Look, for God's sake, I've been receiving death threats from people I don't even know. And I don't even care to know about them. Look, 
this case has made me do things I shouldn't have done in the first place. And now we still have to do more. We need one million naira to pass through the Minister of Justice, or I quit. Since the Kami family has taken over the entire state. Where do you want me to get such money from? Please help me. Please. So, are you expecting me to raise the money? Is that what you want to do? Or you're trying to do? Look, if you want to still define my efforts, go ahead. No. Do whatever you want to do. I and my husband cannot afford such money. Please. Where will I get that from? Please, do something. You're his personal lawyer. I don't play chess and I don't understand a single word you have said. So please make me understand. The lawyer is threatening to pull out of the case if I don't provide him with all necessary resources needed. I'm the only one left out to defend my husband in the law court. Tell me why won't he die? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you want to slice your throat in before the judgment? <laughs> well, Rita, I don't know if you and your husband are ready to help us. <laughs> it's okay. My friend here needs help. And it's very urgent. Let her speak for herself. Wait for My husband is taking this shot, he's fine. And, and he died. Everyone else have come to play with his wife. But the woman will listen. What do you want the Black Hood to do for you, woman? I want my husband freed. The Black Hood 
does not take life to save life. But we must have to take something. We must have to take that which we desire. Anything, sir. Anything you want to take. I'm ready. Let my husband be free. That will just not shelter on them. to your nation initiation if he's freed then come over and make promise did you turn into that bar and make your promise right in your heart promise right in your heart so shall it be, you must keep your promise. Go! Go and withdraw the keys. I said go and withdraw the keys. Go! Madam. I'm here to see you. I know. Is there anything we can do for you? Yes, DPU. I want Mr. Jack to release, and I don't want to carry with this case anymore. What? Are you joking or what? No, DPU. All this while, I've been going contrary to my husband's wish. He told me everything and how it all happened. It was just an accident. It wasn't intentional. Well, as you can see, everything has gone beyond my capacity and control. I'll advise you, madam, that you see your lawyer. I've already called my lawyer on phone. Is that what you want, madam? Yes. Mr. Jack out. Okay, Sergeant, sir, are you sure that that woman is okay? I am not too comfortable with her behaviors. I sense a foul play here. Well, I think I sense the same thing too, Okay, Sarge. You follow it up. Thank you, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, mother, wait. Madam, do you understand the implications of what you're trying to do? Yes, Barista. I know the implications. 
have given my words. I will not step into that court again. Please, Barrister, withdraw the suit filed against Mr. Jack. I don't want to spill innocent blood. You baffle me. You baffle me. You can't be doing this at this point in time. If you go to that court on Thursday, you're on your own. And if anything happens to Mr. Jack, his blood shall be on your head. What? What has come over you? What has come over you, Mrs. Kanu? Good spirit. Good spirit. If you don't want to go and talk to the magistrate, I will do that myself. I've already spoken to the, to the DPU. What? God, what is this? I can't believe this. situation within 24 hours is amazing oh, yeah. when all hope was almost lost. <laughs> My dear, I don't know how to thank this God that did this for me. Ah, uh, you can me. say that again. <laughs> if not, they would have taken me away from me. You see, if you ask me really, I think um, Mrs. Khan should be applauded for her for her immediate change of mind because she took the right decision at the right time. Yes. I think I will personally go and thank her myself. Oh, you know, may God bless that woman. Hey, look, who knows what would have happened to me if she hadn't taken that step. <laughs> Maybe a rope would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid, I am not part of this. I'm not going to see anybody. And this persuasion has to stop now. Have you ever bothered knowing what led to your release? Of course! Mrs. Kano changed her mind. Oh, God bless that woman. And what we should be thinking and talking about is how to go and say thank you to that woman. And not your talking me into going to see some faceless demons. Look, cut me out of this contamination, okay? You don't understand. Eugenia came to the house here. I promised to help me, which she did, and it worked. Did what? And what worked? She introduced me to some friends, and they helped me, and you're out! I don't know if you and your husband are ready to help yourselves, because it's very easy, very easy. Jack is the only thing I've got in the world. I will do anything, anything, anything you want to take. I'm ready. Let my husband be free. The black hole does not shelter not now. to bring my husband to your next initiation if he's freed then come over and make a promise I promise to bring you if they save your life. Wish they did. They've done their part. It's left for us to do our own part. What do you think?
Today I make a decision. Today I make a decision. To live and die in this great black To live and die in this great black For better, for better, for worse, for worse. I will serve the God of this black kingdom. I will serve the God of this black To establish a covenant, to establish between these black hospitals, all to no avail. The most troubling thing is that the doctors have been unable to diagnose anything in particular. Go and discharge her from the hospital. Don't waste the little money you have. It will end up in a wild goose chase. What do you mean? She has become blind. She gave her sight to set you free. Your life is greater than her sight. Are you saying that my wife can never see? The black hood does not take life to give life. She promised to give anything aside from her life. And the Supreme One has taken that which he desires. Oh, my lovely wife. Oh, my goodness. I guess you remember, Mr. Jack, that no one cries 
when the Supreme One takes that which he pledged. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gather yourself together and think about how to step into the upper class and be as rich as other members. The black hood is here to help you in all your desire. But you must be courageous, Mr. Jack. Thank you. You are worth more than any sight. I gave my newly married husband to black hood to become what I am today. Now take a very good look at me at my age. I am so rich, very influential, and I travel around the world at my will. I own over 10 houses in Lagos, Hotapot, and Abuja. And as a devoted member of Blackwood, I can marry as many husbands as I want. And of course, some of them are here. Well, as for me, my husband and I gave out our first son to Black Hood. Then, he was a pharmacist in a private hospital. But today, as we can all see, he's a commissioner of health. We are so rich, so rich, that nobody questions our charity in the government department. I never regret being a member of Black Food. It's my life. She has become, she has become blind. blind. She gave, she gave her sight to set you. I gave my husband to black blind to become what I am
Is there anyone who has a request to make to the Supreme One of the Black Road? I want the Supreme One to make me rich and influential. I want him to cut up to the mainstream of the society. Make a promise within your heart to the Supreme One. soul as you desire. Black Hood. section of Nigeria. So they are used to naming their children as in Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday. So the man had seven kids. Okay. And they had finished as in, you know, Monday, Tuesday, to Sunday. Sunday. So uh, when they gave birth to the eighth one, mm -hmm. then I asked the man, what name will this one be? The man, <laughs> the man thought, he said, uh, the name will be public <laughs> Kill me in this house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you wound yourself? Why is Kingsley? He, he was knocked down by a car and he refused Jesus. to talk to me. Eh? How did this thing happen to us? They said that he's dead. They, they don't. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
Angela, Junior, or oh, you push should be fast now. We are late. Look, Dr. Babi will soon, they will soon finish his birthday party and he won't be happy if we are not there on time. Angela, Junior. Several in my dream, attacking my son, and in different ways. I don't know what that means, but I know one thing very well. What? That danger is locking around the corner of my house. The time has come. Time for what? Time for sacrifice. What sacrifice? The sacrifice you promised to make to the Supreme One of the Black Hood. If you're made wealthy and influential. 
but the supreme one hath already taken my first son just about a week after i made the promise and request the supreme one did not take your son your son died a natural death you're confusing me great one I'm sorry. for everyone used as a sacrifice to the supreme one of the black hood we take his or her blood and heart did we take your son's blood or pluck off his heart great one we have to reconsider this situation because i have no more child to give i have only one child and there is no way i will let him die watch your tongue mr jack watch your tongue before you incur the rot of the supreme one of the black hood upon yourself is there no other way we can handle this there is no other way no other way you must fulfill the pledge which you've made to the black hood The time has come. Time for sacrifice. What sacrifice? The sacrifice you promised to make to the Supreme One of the Black Hood. If you're made wealthy and influential. can never happen. I'd rather die than let them have my soul. My first soul even died. What did they demand for our lives?
So what is the need for the world then? And who will inherit this money after our death? Called this pathetic. See, there is nothing pathetic about this. I and my husband will never sacrifice my only son to the black hood. Even if heaven will fall, never, never. I am afraid you are challenging your God to a wrestling bout, and this is not too good. I understand how you feel, but you have to take her. tried our possible best to convince them, but without success. All they kept saying was that they sacrificed their first child to the Supreme One. Great one. They insisted that they would not bring the boy for any sacrifice. Instead, they opted to pay any amount as compensation. You won't believe it, Great One. The wife denounced her membership right before us. Yes, she did. Tragedy. Tragedy shall befall them. They will come begging for the child to be sacrificed. That is if they will be alive. Leave them. Leave them to the supreme one of the black hood. Such I think they deserve everything they get for being stubborn. I knew it. I knew it would come to this. Dad? Mom? Oh, I 
I'll set her straight. I'll see you when I come back. Um, come back, Jenny. We won't go to school today. You know we love you so much. And you know we want you to be happy. And I'm sure you know we can do anything to make you happy. And that's why I don't want you to continue with your education here in Nigeria. We've made arrangements to take you and Angela over to London so that you can continue your education there. But I like my school, that's where I want to continue. But the educational system here has collapsed. Not with all these incessant strikes. I don't want your education to be interrupted anymore. Do not argue with Daddy again, okay? Daddy has good plans for you. And you know we love you so much.
you know where you are and before whom you stand? Where are we? Whom do we stand before him? Officer, arrest this man. Don't allow him to confuse his evil charms. <laughs> may I know who you are, young man? Yes, you may, old man. My name is Emeka Osondu. I am Charles Osondu's younger brother. Do all you told to practically give you everything he has worked for in his life so I can cure him of his ailments. After everything, he died. <laughs> Just wait a minute, young man. The man surrendered his wealth to God and not to me. Just two plots of land at Abuja, two houses in Lagos, and one in Port Harcourt. Is that too much for one to do for God? Shut up, my friend. His family doesn't live in a rented apartment. Look, officer, you don't mean you want to arrest me. You can't do that to a man of God. I want my husband's car back. I still can't complain how I gave out that car to him in the first place. The whole thing is still very confusing. But that's not the issue now. I want that car back before he comes home this month. I don't know what she's talking about. Who you is don't she? know what. Reverend, you don't know my own husband's car. You don't know what I'm talking about. You will know. Can you say he has been amassing all his wealth? I promise you will not get away with this this time. And everybody must hear about this. Uh, look, look, uh, we, 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 we can settle this, yeah? Don't I listen to him, oh. Settle what? Look, look uh, it's all right. It's all let's right. Settle it at the station. Wait. No, let him give me my car before we get no, to the we'll station. No, we'll settle that at the station. Let, no, Wait a minute. We will settle that at the station. I will return everything. And I will even add to it. don't seem to understand what's going on anymore. I don't know. Have we in any way offended the spirit of the Black Hood? If we have, please tell us so we can appease it. Because we all seem to be having one problem or the other. Please. Great one. Just last two weeks. Two cheap blows up. Got some. One. My only house in Portaco was gutted by fire last week. I am finished. All my members are gone. I can't perform miracles any longer. All my members are taking back what they gave me as gifts. Some are even threatening to jail me. Look at my own situation. My pastor is building in Victoria and collapsed on Monday. I can't. Even those of us in government are facing proof and retirement threats. Great one. Something has to be done. Why? 
I keep great one. Who brought you? I, great one. You. Whatever affects the nose affects the eyes. Count your teeth with your tongue. Our next meeting shall be at the Holy of Holies. That good. Like you and your brother were not on good terms when he was still alive. Jack! Jack was a very big businessman and contractor. But so selfish, he never helped anybody. Look at me, just look at me. See how I'm living. Jack never helped any of us. Um, what about his son, Junior? Yes. Uh, he is with my younger sister, Ngozi, for the meantime. But Angela was supposed to take care of her travel to the village. And uh, where does Ngozi, your sister, live? Hey, she lives somewhere at number 10, uh, Papa, somewhere. Thank you, man. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Um, Jack, your brother, was a very good friend of ours. Eh? He was really very nice to us when he was alive. Really? Mm-hmm. Please stay hot, all right? We'll be coming from time to time to see you. Thank you. In the meantime, you can Is it... Part of the money you are owing him, yeah. and you are owing some money, I believe so. <laughs> All of it is for you. What is this for me? Yes. Ha! <laughs> and of course, you can be sure of getting more of this from where that came from. Really? Ha! <laughs> My dear brother, I thank you very much. Thank you, eh? God bless you. Sister, thank you, eh? God bless you, eh? God bless you, eh? <laughs> Thank you very much, eh? Thank you, eh? All right. All right. Junior's going home, okay? But Junior, how about you, Miss Finance? Don't worry about it. 
well that when mommy comes back to the week by you guys just have fun with it. Alright? Bye bye. So what do we do now? Obviously Juno is in trouble. Can anyone tell me what this is all about? I don't know. I really don't know. Can you imagine they came to kidnap him in my name? <clears throat> Are you sure this had not got to do with anything with the father? Because I'm surprised the way things are going. Since my house is being under safe for him, and uh, Angela is always busy. Can he come and stay with you today? My house? No, Juno cannot come and stay in my house. Please, can you take him with you? Stay with me? No. I don't know what his father got himself into. And I don't want to be part of it. This is it. You see? I think you protect him more than I can do this. Brother. Brother. Why are you very antagonistic when it comes to Brother Jack? After all, he is dead. Can't you just forget it? What did he do for me? And my brothers and sisters. Oh, oh, he sent you to the university. And through his influence, he gave me a good job. What of all of us? What did he do to all of us? No problem. I'll take you with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show them the picture, isn't it? Yeah, they have the pictures with them. Good. That is the girl. Yeah. And that's the boy. If you get that boy alive, you get double of this. You can come to North Chief. And remember, we want the boy alive. We don't make mistakes. I hope so. Thanks, Chief. We're ready, Chief. What do you want from me? Somebody is after us not to kidnap my nephew. You've not told me what I want to hear. I said, who are you and what do you want from me? Just, just like magic. Shut up. Just shut up. What a word. You did. 
dead man. Chief, there is no need of our reacting when you still have a way out. A way out? Did I hear you say a way out? I go tell me which way out. The only way out right now is giving them another chance. Yes, Chief. One more chance. One chance, Chief. Thank you very much, sir. Um, but we just have to leave. I'm making arrangements for us to leave town. Yes, sir. Okay. What about Junior? Why don't you let him stay here while you go out there and make all the necessary arrangements to leave town? Uh, no, oh. but... Oh, no, Angela. You don't need to be scared. You trusted me for a night, and I didn't disappoint you. I can protect him. Trust me. Just trust me. I need to know how I can make arrangements for us. I'll make unnecessary things remain with me. Thank you, sir. Yes, okay. Um, Angela, you see your car is parked uh, two streets from here. Yes, sir. For security purposes, I will advise you not to get close to that car. They might still be around watching. Chifuba, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. He's actually your late brother's uh, managing director in one of his companies in Port Harcourt. Really? Yeah. Uh, Chifuba, this is uh, OK, like I told you. Okay. Jack's elder brother. Good so my brother has a company in Port Harcourt? Yes. <laughs> welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Oh, come on. I should be the one to address you, sir, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Actually, like uh, Chief Eze just said, I am Chief Oba, the managing director of your brother's company in Port Harcourt. 
Ziobera had a lot of companies, a business a empire, both in Nigeria and outside the country. So, so I'm taking care of the one in Patakot. So my brother had a company in Patakot. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So when uh, Chief uh, Izzy told me about everything, I said, let me also come and see. That's why we're here. You're welcome, my dear. So how is uh, Jack Jr., the little boy? Oh, the boy is fine, he's fine. Oh, oh yes, that, that, that reminds me. Um, we, we heard that some people are threatening his life. How far is that true? Yes, that is true, Chief. Uh, that was that even made our family. Uh, we had a meeting last week over the issue. We had a family meeting uh, to discuss that matter. In fact, we are confused. We don't know what is happening. Oh, oh please, sir. Uh, do apologies. Do apologies. You see, actually, we are supposed to be responsible for the upkeep and safety of that boy. Yes. All right. And uh, the boy being in trouble might be connected with his father's businesses. What do you, what do you think? It's true. Uh, 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 Uncle, see, you see, your brother, your late brother, Jack, was very, very good to us. In fact, as I am now, he met me. Mm -hmm. Good. He met me. So the upkeep of Junior is very, very important to us. We, we want to train him to grow to a stage where he can take over his father's company. Yeah, yeah, and we also want you to be in the know of what goes on in the company. Yes, sir, what, what we are trying to say is that uh, for now, all right, while the ball remains in your care, all right, we are going to work out modalities on how you are going to take over the entire company that belongs to your late brother, Jack. We take over the company? Oh, oh yes. Ah, yes. Yes. And as a matter of fact, sir, uh, we with a token for his upkeep so that he can really take care of uh, this is a token of a uh, hundred thousand for Junior's upkeep. Let's take it. No, you, you keep this, you know, uh, 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 it, it is strictly for the boys' upkeep. All right, when we come back next time, we're going to come with all the documents relating to all the companies your brother owns within the country and even outside so you can start from there. Well, uh, I'll go and discuss with members of my family. I think uh, as soon as we finish that meeting, I'll let you people know what's in our position. Thank you very much. And God bless you people. Thank you. Eh? Yeah, please, uh, Thank you very just much. go ahead and uh, as soon as that is done, please get back to us. Okay. While we work out modalities on how uh, to take over the upkeep and safety of uh, Junior. And uh, Uncle, I hope wherever Junior is right now, he is very safe. Yes, he is safe. And Again, nobody knows where he is. No, nobody knows except the matter of my family and you. Good. Please let it remain like that. Uh, uncle, you see, the safety of Junior is very, very important to us. Oh, yes. Because if anything happens to him, Jack, your brother, no, us. won't be happy in his grave at all. So please very make much. sure his safety is guaranteed until we're able to take over. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.